Welcome back to the channel. Another rant. <laughs> a different company this time, though. Not Battle State Games. This time, we're gonna rant about Bethesda. Bethesda, please. For the love of God. They, un they just randomly announced, oh, we're gonna make a Fallout patch, guys. And everyone already, like, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain I speak for everyone that knows Bethesda um, for longer than five minutes is like, oh, no, please. Please don't do this. Don't. Please, no. <laughs> and what we feared... Well, I, I would say what we know, what we knew was gonna happen, happened, right? The patch is made by a bunch of imbeciles, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, for the love of God, Bethesda, please stick, stick to what you're good at. Oh, for the love of God. So, the next gen update. It's 14 plus gigs. It breaks all of your mods because it, as we will see, it will, it breaks the most important mod out there uh, in a significant way, I might add. Not like a... Like the other previous patches where it was like a five minute upload and then we we're fine no no it broke it completely um and obviously it doesn't change that much at all <laughs> so your modded saves obviously those are gonna be gone that's not not a surprise um the next gen patch does not introduce graphical improvements so it's it, they're lying to you it's bethesda that's what they do um new ultra wide support it stretches the UI in a manner that is ugly as hell, and you can't, <laughs> you can't, you can't fix that. Um, the creation engine still doesn't support frame rates over 60, and the weapon degree graphics are still cause the game to crash on RTX cards, um, which has been again an issue that has been present since RTX cards were introduced, right? Um, so not only did you break all of the mods that were out there, right, with a patch that is as we are well accustomed from Bethesda, completely useless and breaks more than it fixes. Um, what's more in egregious to me is that when you do have like, you finally, there's a bunch of like really cool looking projects for Fallout coming out, right? Actual gaming developers with actual passion uh, that for free are making these giant, giant um, total conversions like Fallout 4 London, for example. Um, are now massively impacted because a bunch of dumbasses tried to do a job that they're ill-suited for and completely broke the game, <laughs> right? What else is new? Bethesda hasn't made... Okay, here's the thing, right? Because you're, if you're listening to this and you're like a Bethesda fanboy, you're probably like, why the hell is this guy raging about Bethesda, blah, blah, blah. They make really good games. Here's the thing. They don't, all right? Skyrim is an amazing game. After the mod community got through with it. Oblivion is an amazing game. After the mod community got through with it. Fallout 3 is an okay game. That turned slightly more okay. After the modding community got through with it. Fallout 4 is a slightly okay game. That turned amazing. After the modding community got through with it. Here's the thing about Bethesda. <clears throat> and I dare you. I like. I dare you to prove me wrong on this. They do not know how to make a proper game that works. They just don't. Their game are bloated. They're barely functional. And they need their modding community to fix their shit. And every single time they release a patch, the modding community just gets <laughs> upended. We do not want you to release any more patches, okay? Do what you're good at. Make your little framework, alright? Write a story. And then they just give it to the modders, because every single, every single effing time you guys touch the goddamn game with a patch, you break everything, right? And this time, it's it really bugs me, because I was looking forward to London, and that was coming out on the 23rd. But because Bethesda had to release their uh, update for a game that, that they haven't updated in years, and of course, they're so incompetent, they break everything. This game... This total conversion is now indefinitely delayed. The worst part about this is the, this entire debacle, and I'm not even I'm not even go, I've not even gotten to the worst part, man. These imbeciles, these useless wastes of development space, broke the Fallout 4 script extender. Here's which mods use the Fallout 4 script extender. Um, all of them. <laughs> right? 
Can we please? Please, for the love of God. You know the saying? Stay in your fucking lane? Please, Bethesda, stay in your lane. Release the game, right? Get your money grabbing, just grab all the money, and then do not ever touch it again, because every time you touch your games, you break it. I have, honestly, I am baffled by the fact that you guys managed to become a AAA company. <laughs> you managed to release what turned out to be, because of the modding community, such amazing games. All right. It is absolutely super annoying. Every time you guys touch your game, you break all of the mods. Guess why people play your game? Because of the mods. <laughs> okay. <coughs> The amount of people that actually play your game unmodded that has to be tiny. <clears throat> your game is super boring unmodded, alright? Like, your games are just trash. But your frameworks are amazing. For the love of God, stick to the frameworks, alright? Don't release the framework and let the actual passionate, talented people have a crack at it. That's pretty much what I wanted to say. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all rants today. I can't help it, right? From one dev team being scammers to the other dev team being complete brain dead, right? Like, why? Why would you... Why did you feel the need to release a patch that did nothing, broke more shit than it fixed, and just completely devastated the, the modding uh, of it? The one thing that makes your games good is the modding community. For real. <laughs> like... I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that, all right? The vast majority, in my opinion, probably have some mods installed. Whether it be via your shitty cash grab creation club or via, you know, like Nexus mods or stuff, right? Like, for the love of God, stop trying to fix things. You only break shit, okay? If you ever want to, like, actually hire some people that would make a good game, right? Which, honestly, they'll never do that because they have to hire Yesmin. Uh, because there's gonna be people at the top that'll say like, Oh, you need to do XYZ. And it needs to give me this much money, right? Like, Bethesda is... <clears throat> Bethesda is, hasn't been a gaming company in years. They're like literally just a business company. Um, now we do have the hope, right? Because, and this is like the small light at the end of the tunnel, maybe, right? Depends if, if, if Microsoft wants to go through it uh, or, and not. Because Microsoft also bought Obsidian Studios. And the one good game in the Bethesda, which was also buggy as hell. But just because Bethesda made them essentially make the game in like 18 months, right? <laughs> Give them a year more and there's a lot less bugs, for example. Um, so once again... Bethesda fucking up what could have been an amazing game, and it's still an amazing game. Fallout New Vegas, made by Obsidian. Bethesda had nothing to do with that, and it fucking shows, alright? The story is way better. The game overall was, in my opinion, and in many people's opinion, Fallout New Vegas is in many, people, many people's opinions the best Fallout of the Bethesda era. Um, which is not saying much, because, you know, it's the Bethesda era. Fallout 1 and 2 is still the all-time greatest Fallouts. Not even close, okay? Like, there's like... You can't even compare the two, like, there's Fallout 1 and 2, and then you have Oblivion with guns, which is Fallout 3 and 4. Don't get me wrong, love Oblivion, love guns, so I kind of do love Oblivion with guns. After I install, like, 100 to 200 mods. Um, but yeah. Please, Microsoft, for the love of God, give the Fallout IP to Obsidian. Let, let Bethesda just work on their Skyrim, or their, their whatever the Elder Scrolls V is gonna be called. Uh, and for the love of God, give Fallout to a company that actually gives a shit, okay? Because Bethesda clearly does not. <laughs> like, holy hell, dude. Oh my god, why? I'm going to lose my mind today, guys. I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready to just like... Rah, 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 you know? I'm ready to lose it. God, for the love of God, Bethesda. Stop. Stop patching your games. Nobody wants you to patch your games, all right? We'll patch it for you. Because the modding community does a much better job than you ever can. Which is once again proven by the fact that you had to fuck everything up. Again. Thanks, Stout Howard. You're so good at your fucking job. Is this guy... Wasn't this guy leaving? Is this guy... Is this guy gone yet? I heard this guy was leaving. Please leave immediately. Let someone else have a go at it. Someone that doesn't fuck everything up.
constantly. Rant over. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm gonna stop here. I'm seriously stopping here because I'm going down a slippery slope. <laughs> like, go, go away, go away. I'm gone. Peace. I love you all. <laughs>